Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh. How you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel once again. Just here giving you guys an update on the 63, where I'm at right now. I converted the manual swap into automatic. Those two pedals were for the uh, manual. So if you guys are interested, leave me a message and I'll let you know how much I want for it. If you want to convert your 63, 64 automatic, I mean manual. And this is the uh, automatic setup. It's stripped pretty forward. You know, you just gotta take a couple of things out and it bolts right in. So now we're automatic on the 63. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, reconnect all the lines for the brake system because there is no brakes and uh, I got the uh, steering rack coming I had a uh, powder coated or painted and that's what's gonna happen with this that's this is where I'm at right now but slowly for surely you know I'm gonna get it done and uh, I remove the hood because I'm gonna start doing the engine work myself so this video we're gonna talk about three things on why you should not wrap your car or what the rapper is not telling you. I'm gonna be honest with you, if you like rapping your car, that's cool. You know, no no hate, no discrimination, but me personally, I will not wrap my car. So here's the three things why you shouldn't wrap your car. Number one, when you wrap your car, and, and then basically you're just putting plastic on glue. And look what happened here. Look, see that? That peeled off when I pulled the wrap out of this car. If you guys go back to my channel, you guys will see that this car used to be blue. It used to have wrapped everywhere. And it took me probably a couple of days to, to get it out. And when you wrap a car, the wrapper doesn't tell you, hey, your, your underneath paint is going to get messed up. Like right here, you see that? I don't know if you can see it. There's a bunch of glue left in the car still. I have to remove it. But because the car is gonna get painted again, I'm gonna sand it down. But you can see real good. I don't know if you can, if I could, the camera can pick that up, but there's a lot of patterns of glue left from the wrap. And it's everywhere. And look at right here in the door too. When you wrap your car, prepare to damage your underneath paint. That ain't gonna be the same anymore. It's gonna look terrible. Another thing that they don't tell you is, when you wrap your car, your car value goes down by 30, 40%. It depends what kind of car it is. If it's not a hot, hot car in the market, pretty much it's gonna be, it's gonna be fucked up. Sorry to tell you this, wrapping your car is not the way to go. I will never wrap my car because I don't like wrap. I like paint jobs, good paint jobs. And this car is gonna get repainted again. I already got the paint to paint it. I just haven't had the time because I got two cars that I need to get running. So number one is that it leaves your paint job messed up. You're gonna have to pay another guy to redo body work on your car. Number two, the car value goes down. These are three things that they don't tell you. And the number three, and the third thing about your wrap is that it's gonna, if you leave it there for a long time, like exposed to the sun, it will somehow melt inside the car, man. I've seen it so many guys happening to them. Please do not wrap your cars, man. Save up save up your money and get a decent paint job. Do yourself a favor. Wrap is played out. Wrap is for broke ass people, to be honest. If you think it's cheaper than pain, you're mistaken. You're actually going the, the long run. It's not actually, you're not actually saving money. You're throwing your money away. 
And I'm telling you because, you know, I keep it real in my channel. I do not wrap none of my cars. Paint job is the way to go. If you don't believe me, go to your local painter and ask him, talk to him. And I'm also gonna review this bumper, this, this body kit. Uh, I've been having this body kit for over a year and three months now. And it's holding pretty good. As long as you install it correctly, you know, it shouldn't fall apart. I, however, I scratched my bumper, you know, because I'm, I'm very low on the ground. Like, I'm low, like, you can barely fit your foot in there. But, uh, look, check this out. The body kit, it holds, it, it holds pretty good. You know, you're gonna have some scrapes here and there, you know, that's normal. And uh, other than that, you know, it's pretty good. But three things, I just let you guys know three things about why you shouldn't wrap your car. Don't waste your money on wrap. Wrap is a joke to me. It's like you wrapping your car is like basically wrapping a pressing. And then after a while, because the sun is damaging your paint, you take it all out. All that, oh yeah, and when you pull the wrap, look. This is what the wrap did to the paint. See that? It took the paint out. Be prepared when you wrap your car to have stuff like this. I'll show you again, look. Create it. Look at that. You lift up the paint, look. You don't believe me? Learn the learn the hard way. Go ahead, wrap your car and leave it in the sun. Supposed to the sun, see what happens. Look, my car sits outside right now because this car used to sit in the garage, but I got the '63 in there. Then I got a '64 in the back, so I need to get this car finished ASAP. That's my goal to get it running. I already got the seats and everything. The goal is to get it running, man. Uh, gonna do my best to get the car going. But um, thank you for watching the channel, man. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Leave a comment on whatever questions you got. You know, I'm gonna tell you this right now. I don't wish this on any rapper that raps cars. But as soon as people start figuring this thing out, they're gonna start. They're gonna stop wrapping their cars. And y'all gonna go out of business because y'all don't tell your customers the truth. Y'all don't tell them that their paint is gonna get messed up, their car is gonna lose value. Be honest with them. You can't, you can't fool me because I've been in cars for so long, so I know what's the best thing to do for the vehicle. I will never wrap a car in my own, you know, in my own decision. It's an option, but not an option that, that I'm gonna go with. Oh yeah, and again, the bumper, I I hit something, like, uh, I hit like a, I think it was like a, like a downhill, kind of, and, and my bumper lift up a little bit, and my bumper cracked a little bit from here to here, uh, that's about it, it didn't, oh, and the bottom is great, that's about it, but I am looking for the, for the original Nismo bumper, if I find one at a good price, I might swap it out and sell this one. But um, that's about it, guys. This is what I wanted to talk to you about. I wanted to do this video for the longest. So I hope you guys enjoy today's content. To put the steering rack, the steering column. That one's a super sport. And um, that's the next thing I'm gonna do. And uh, however, I just wanted to talk to you guys about a few things on the channel. Uh, understand guys that I'm one man army like I do all the editing myself I put the video together as much as I can sometimes the video is all over the place because when you shoot a video and it's a bunch of cuts you don't know which one is first which one is second and so you try to figure it out so you got to go through them all of them again sometimes the video is all over the place but I try to keep up my best to just put it together but um also about this video that I just dropped remember that's my opinion if you don't want to wrap your car, that's on you. But if you want to wrap your car, that's on you. I'm just trying to put that out there for the car community of what can happen if you wrap your car 
and my opinion and if you want to go for it and listen to me good if not it's up to you no hate no hate in my game i'm just trying to look out for you guys like always you know and to I, everybody that uh leave comments on the channel bear with me man i'm only one person so i can reply to all of you at the same time i try to do as much as i can every time i jump in the youtube studio and i watch all the comments I'm trying to respond to each and every single one of you. So please understand that, you know, it's just me. But I also want to send a shout out to you guys for helping this channel grow little by little. I'm very thankful from the bottom of my heart. One day I want to reach hopefully 100K. Who knows? You never know. You never you never know what, what could happen from here in another year. But I want to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you guys enjoy today's content. All right? And let me show you something. Check this out. 1963, this is a $10,000 paint job. It is expensive, but on the long run, it's well worth it. And uh, like any of my cars, any of my cars that you see, they're they're all painted, you know? I don't use wrap, but if that's what you like, hey, you know, do what you gotta do. Do what makes you happy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, my next thing is to put the, the steering column together so I can put the steering wheel back on. And then after that, I'm going to do the, the brake, brake line. As you guys can see, the brake lines are missing. The guy that I bought it from, he, he uh, basically chopped them up. Look. Let me see. See, it's missing right there. You guys can see it. But I'm going I'm to shoot the video. Uh, this will probably be the next video. But thank you for watching. All right, then.